Hello everyone, welcome back to the most recent episode of the Star Trek Adventures Nighthawk, where the uh, last couple episodes were a heist mission, and the point where things went wrong, things just never got right again. But to summarize what's been going on, let's talk to the captain. Uh, captain, do you have a captain's log for us, please? I do indeed. Captain's log started 83380.2. This log is being recorded under an away team's deep cover assignment. It has been 24 hours since my office has made contact toward, to the Nighthawk, and sensors have detected an explosion in their target area. I have the data analysis lab scouring through content, along with trying to monitor all pl outgoing planetary communication bands, but their away team status is still inconclusive. I will leverage all the power that I have available to me to find them. But if we do not hear from them soon, I plan to play this game on the Orion's terms. End log. Okay. So, we are going to cut to... Uh, we are going to cut to the space around uh, planet Orion. Where the smuggler ship that brought you guys in has sadly having to make their departure due to them having, you know, other people that need their gear, their shipping goods. After all, they are a completely honest merchant vessel. Uh, you are hailed by the uh, the Tamarian. I believe the, her name was Vasilok, who quietly, re who quietly reports uh, Tyrannus, back turned in shame. Before, <laughs> well, I was gonna say, uh, Darmok at Jalad at Tanagra, but Darmok is nowhere to be found. Eyes uncovered. Tiermus, eyes, uh, Tiermus, sniffing in the dark. Ah, well, the river day mock. <laughs> Go in peace. Goodbye. And with that, she cuts comms, and Zarmiel's eagerness uh, heads to high impulse and jumps to warp as soon as it reaches the fringe of the system. And now we're left on a curiously empty... Well, a bridge scene that is populated, but none of the usual actors are here except for the captain. Man, when the walls fell, they do fall hard, don't they? <laughs> Anton Ranny, do we still have no other... Is there still nothing that you could give me? What? What's the status of the explosion site? Uh, what we're able to determine, sir, is that there is a significant amount of activity... Most of the building appears to be intact. I'm not able to see any life signs down there that match our crew. All right. Well, is there any way that I can uh, get a line to uh, open up a channel to Director Chalmers? Hopefully the man's not busy. Uh, since we're going to attempt, so um, I'm going to mention one thing real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Due to how I'm start, due to how I'm going to be starting this, is that I will be starting with zero threat. So do not be afraid to spend threat to give me threat if you feel the need. But for the time being, um, because you're going to want to probably do this slightly stealthily, this is going to be a communi uh, communications test. Uh, so whoever wants to roll for the communication systems. Maybe Rani, whoever, uh, is going to be a control plus engineering role. The ship will assist with um, communications plus engineering. And this is going to be a difficulty two. I got the ship. All right. Who's got Rani? I'll get her. All right. And 
and she has the focus, right? I believe she does, but that's up to... Sensors, communications... Yeah, there's the communications. So that's one momentum for you guys. <clears throat> it takes a bit of time for the proper uh, communications to get established, but eventually you do get a... Uh, you do get a line to Station Zero and Director Chalmers. Director, I have a bit of a situation here, so I'll be brief. I need to be, be aware of if we have any other Starfleet intelligence assets in the, in the, on Orion that are favorable to the Federation. Some of my officers are missing, and before I take any other further drastic measures, I want to make sure I've exhausted all of my options. Deep cover mission went south, huh? Well, that's As they funny. tend to. Hmm. He shakes his head. Other than, other than the previous contact, we have no other uh, assets on Orion that we can uh, that can be assigned to assist. Many are deep cover. All right. So I'm on my own here then, huh? Yes. Da you were what? sent in alone to do a job. If the job got bungled, he shrugs. No one to blame but yourself. I'm not blaming anybody yet. I just wanted to make sure if I needed to start doing something, if I needed to start doing something rash, that I, you know, there wasn't something else unavailable to me. In any case, never fear. Job's not over yet. Good. Anything else? No, that's Good. it. Considered a courtesy call. I just like seeing your face. Hmm. And with that, he cuts the comms. All right. <laughs> well, slight, slightly giddy, because that means I get to uh, actually use the full arsenal of my ship. <laughs> When's the last time a captain has ever gotten to say that? I wish it was in a better situation, though. All right. Mr. Davis... I need you to get in to. I need you to leave your bridge station, and I. It's time for you to get into the fighter. There was an explosion there, and I need to make sure that our people are safe. And in any in any capacity, if that means I'm going in guns blazing, they may not necessarily be there right now, but I'd like to make sure that it's on standby. Luckily, I want you to prepare an additional an, an additional away team, multiple security officers and medical personnel to make sure if we find our people that they're not hurt. Please, um, go in heavy, go in silent. Go in silent, but prepare for heavy. Not only are we going to take the fighter, not only are we going to take the fighter, we we'll also take the uh, the Type XX shuttlecraft here. I want to make sure that they don't see us coming. And if we have a proper capacity to beam our people out of there, then hopefully we don't even necessarily need to fly that thing at all. As long as we maintain contact with one or two, one or two of the shuttles, we should be able to transport all, all of them out of there at the same time. But if necessary, we need to make sure we have firepower. And I'm pretty sure the Orion Syndicate can't recognize either of these intelligence shuttles. Togi, you're also coming with. I'm sure Orion has some unique fauna available to available to you that you could sample for your guidance. So consider this a expeditionary an expeditionary trip. I'm sure you'll come in useful. We'll actually ask you: Is there gonna be anybody left on board the ship, sir? Well, I'm not necessarily going to leave yet. Once we send an additional away team and we ascertain their status, then we'll actually worry about me beaming down. But right now, I'm still in command of the ship. Okay. All right. Okay, so, so far, sounds like we have Jefferson flying the gunship, and Loxley and Togi are going down. Who else wants to come? I'm thinking about bringing down... Uh... What's her name? Miss Jackson has the well because we need a second shell pilot. Okay. So yep. you've Mel for here. At security, top. you're going to need Noel for sure. Mm -hmm. 
No, gotcha. Possibly Hanara. And if I were to leave, technically, uh, Kalox would be in command, right? He is chief medical yeah. officer. Yeah, so, he is. Yeah. I believe he's a commander. So, <laughs> nope, lieutenant commander. Still probably ranking senior officer on the ship. Yep. And then Zot for uh, the medic on the yeah. security team. Mm -hmm. Hanara, Noel, Loxley, and we Zot. have Zot. Cool. I would, let's also bring down. Um, hmm. What was I thinking? No more Shishu doctors here. <laughs> oh, we Actually, some... I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to uh, go to the bar. I want to pop in a wooler. Okay. That's a good. That's an interesting idea. Let's go down to the bar. Uh, that would be not conference room. Uh, that would be what? Where is it? Mess hall. That's where you are. All right. Now uh, you walk into the mess hall. There's lots of people who aren't here. Wooler looks up, surprised. It appears to be a bit of a uh, in between shift break so not many tables are currently um, yeah, not many tables are occupied and you find Wooler performing maintenance on one of the replicators he's bent over and swearing in a very colorful sing-songy language of his people I'm gonna go ahead and walk up to the bar and uh, knock on it anybody home uh, he swivels around his uh, three uh, his uh, Th his three leg setup allows him to do so fairly ungainly, but it happens. Captain Singral, I'm. Everyone seems to be on edge. Are you here for something to take the edge off? No, actually. I was here for your assistance. He raises his uh his ah he raises his head even higher than his ah than his neck tip is typically allows. Oh, how so? Well, I mean, it is a big galaxy, and I'm sure bartenders hear many types of stories. Before the Nighthawk, have you ever been to Orion? Twice, for vacations. Once for training. Can't say I've been there in the last ten years, though. Oh, well, you know, sometimes, you know, places like this, how much do they really change? I mean, names and faces probably, but, you know, the general outlook of the populace. Mm. Kind of the same old, same old, wouldn't you say? Usually the same, yes. <laughs> well, I think I need a man of your social skills on the mission. See, the away team is missing right now, and since there was an explosion, we haven't necessarily been able to find them. I'm kidding out the away team. And... Besides the general types of personnel that you think I would take, okay, I was thinking about your talents. And not only, we did come across a bartender that the away team has told me. And as far as I can tell, a lot of the action is concentrated around what whoever this asset particularly is and their place of an establishment. And so, you know, cons considering your position, I'm just thinking to myself, hey, if we if we bring you back, who knows what may happen. But more importantly, regardless of your regardless of your skills in bartending, I know you also are a quite capable scientist. In any case, if something down there gets a little bit hairy, there's probably not it's probably not something that standard Starfleet personnel would know. In that case, I find your expertise would probably come in handy. So what do you say? Want to feel feel like coming down? It is my duty as a Starfleet officer and bartender and friend of the crew to assist, however I may. All right, then. Well, in that case, you're going to have to go look the part. So, uh, now, lose the smile. He... And get a knife. Would you like me to have an eye patch, too, Captain? Well, that's just cosmetic. That's up to you. Don't let me stop you, though. He smirks. Very well, sir. I shall be ready for duty shortly. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, so someone take Wooler and feel free to upgrade him or advance him since it's been a while since we've had since we've had him do anything really, aside from serve drinks. Okay. And we'll add him to here. Okay, away team is prepped and ready. So let's go back to what the other folks are up to. So we cut to a a brig. Uh, solid wall, solid ceilings, solid floors, solid door. Uh, you wrap uh, attempts to wrap on the door. Feel you're able to determine that it's solid metal. You might ask how you got here. Well, after you were apprehended by masked individuals carrying firearms larger than you, you were all quickly disarmed. Uh, the computer chip was taken from Thishran. Uh, Helsing, you had you, uh, you were quickly searched, and you had the detonator and all of your weapons taken. To include the Type One. Um, that's a test to find it, correct? Yes, sir. Well, let me just see. Um, actually, um, yes. They, because I'm starting with zero threat, I basically get to say how things start. So, yes, they did find it. Um, <clears throat> tricorders were taken. Um, none of you had your comm badges, so thankfully there's that. Um, uh, you were all born taken onto a small flyer and flown outside the city. Shortly thereafter, you were all herded onto a transporter pad and beamed to a uh, prison facility. You're not entirely sure where. You weren't shown, or you were not shown a window of, ah, sh ah. you weren't shown in a window to the outside. Um, given the fact that there's not a lot of uh, thrumming, it safe to say that you're not on a ship but you could be on a station or you could still be planet based or you could be moon based who knows either way uh, you have been in this cell for the last eight hours uh, commander Bashir was the first to quote unquote volunteer to go for questioning we start the scene with you guys wondering what the heck's going on Uh, Helsing bangs on the wall and damn it kicks the bottom of the wall damn it Bashir Banging should have gone first wall. I tried to stop him I should have gone first well, when I get out of here I think we owe your um, duplicate there a, a bit of a payback for getting us in this mess Oh, in more ways than one. That's what I don't think whoever this is, if it's another syndicate, if it's Orion Intel or another intelligence agency, Betholian is operating on both sides of the mirror universe. That's why I can't say many me, other me, was mirror me mirror me sounds better mirror me was out here to get him because he's doing operations on both sides of the divide well this is a very interesting situation that you got yourself into commander i mean no disrespect most of the time i would say that if you were that conflicted with your personal interests, that you should take it out on the holodeck. <laughs> Copy you, but I guess you don't have that luxury, huh? Not right now, at least. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just light humor situation. We're in prison. <laughs> Miss Vaid, can you determine the age of the actual metal around us, or at least the type? I understand we don't have our tricorders or anything like that, but you know, able scientists, can you determine at least what type of material it's made out of? I'm not about to lick the floor, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> no, it's, no, just lick the walls. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. 
I mean, the walls haven't been walked on, so. Mm. Bro. Probably. I don't know. First time here. <laughs> There's a massive clang as a heavy key is inserted into the lock. The door swings open, and two of the masked uh, enforcers enter. Slung but at a third, watches from the door with a um, pistol uh, trained on the uh, yeah, on those of you inside. The two enforcers are carrying uh, Commander Bashir, and they have kicked the crap out of him. Um, he is bleeding from several uh, areas of blunt force impact. W one of his hands looks like it might never play the piano again. And one of his antenna is bent at a funny angle. He appears to be missing several teeth. And his eye is one of his eye is swollen shut. He is currently unconscious, and they dump him unceremoniously into the room. The one uh, the one watching the door will just roll one D four to see who goes next. Two. He points at the other. He just... Ah, through the mask grill. Well, we broke one end, Dorian. Let's see about the other one. Maybe he'll answer questions. Come with us. No, no, no. I, I push Fran down. He's not going. There's a... Ah, the grill, or the... The one with the pistol points it at you. Ah, you're volunteering? It shrugs. Not often we get someone who volunteers for this gig. All right, you're with us. Ms. Williams, take care of Commander Bashir. Housing, yep. you sure about this? Yeah. I think you guys know everything if you do get out. All right. Duke it out. <laughs> Others have tried. Uh, let's see. Just get me my tokens in the right place here. Okay, so Mr. Helsing, you are dragged out through a fairly nondescript hallway. The lighting is fairly poor. Some of the lights are flickering. And you're noticing a... Well, tell you what, if you... Roll a. Uh, bah. Roll me a insight plus security roll, and I'll tell you what you figure out on your way. And if you have observation or crit uh, detail oriented stuff like that, that'd be a good thing to know here. Good focus. Nah. All right. No, nothing like that. Okay. Said so it was insight. Uh, insight security difficulty two. Oh, well, there's the two successes you need. Okay. All in all, there's uh, eight cell doors. Uh, four of them, by your, by the way that they're laid out, you believe that they are you know, more general occupancy rooms. So one of them is, of course, currently occupied by you and your f friends. There are four others at the far hall, at the far end of the hall. Each of them appear to just be single occupant. There is no visible door or no visible windows into or out of any of the cells. Uh, the light, the, the lighting is dim, flickering. Uh, appears that whoever pays the bills is not maintenance is not of their or maintenance is not a high priority for them right now. And what's interesting is you're noticing a significant amount of rust uh, pooling around uh, where the metal, where various metal frames join. Uh, you see six guards. Uh, four of them are holding pistols. Two of them are holding those nasty rifles. Is there the sense of, is it any type of artificial gravity? Is it just normal gravity? Uh, it feels like normal gravity. That's good. 
you don't get much t much more than that before they drag you into an interrogation room where there are two fairly burly Orions that are already waiting for you. They grab you and forcibly sit you down at a chair. Uh, one of them looks like uh, apparently one of them looks like a beefed or roided out Brendan Fraser. The other one looks like um well any sort of bald Orion who has been taken too much steroids. <clears throat> they look at each other, and then they look at you. They breathe heavily, and then one of them punches you. Right away. Any attempt uh, to catch it, dodge it? If you're, um, no, you're just caught completely off guard. So you take four points of stress as they, as they um, knock your jaw out of alignment. The other one says, "Let me help you," and forcibly replaces your jaw. Right now that that's now that introductions have been made. Who the hell are you? Why the hell did you blow up? part of our hotel and where did you get this and he produces the detonator that was confiscated from you that one's easy that was given to me by the person who blew up the building We've run DNA traces on it. You're the only person that this thing's come in contact with. Have you run quantum what the particle fuck? checks? What the hell's a quantum particle check? That's what I thought. You guys are over your head. They look at each other. Okay, smart guy. Tell you what. You just tell us which faction you're working for. And then we will just put you back in that cell with all of your bones intact. I would appreciate that. But I don't know if you guys are going to be able to protect the, anything else going on in the city. Because this probably was not the first and only incident this person that we are after did. Our job isn't to figure that part out. Our job's to figure you out. You're not supposed to try to protect the people, at least in that, that building or whatever syndicate you all belong to? The interest of that organization? Roll me a presence plus... Com yeah, roll me pre presence plus command. Um, persuasion as a focus persuasion would work this is going to be opposed by one by their uh, insight plus command and I will use that one momentum that we got earlier and I'll okay. give you two threat for okay. a total of four dice all right That's two successes from you. <laughs> That's only one success from them. Okay. Uh, the one that looks like Brendan Fraser uh, takes a quick step or leans back in his chair and cracks his back slightly. Ah. It's starting to make a bit of sense with what Blue Boy told us. What do you think there? <sighs> what do you think, Zaris? Zaris just looks at the other one. Look, I'm just... I want to punch him in the face until he stops talking and asking stupid questions. How do you learn unless you ask questions? Precisely, see? Exactly. Good. And 
It's time to go talk to the boss. I'll make sure Pinky here doesn't s go anywhere. And with that, now, Brendan Fraser stands up, heads to one of the doors, bangs on it. It's opened from the outside. Uh, two of the ma two of the masked guards keep weapons trained on the room, and he exits. So th this guy who's left, his name is like Zarus or something Zarus, like that. Yes. Zarus. What do you know of other dimensions? I know that we exist in the third. That's all that I've needed to know. I like to punch people in the third dimension. Occasionally I shoot people in the third dimension. Sometimes, when I'm feeling bored, I slash people in the third dimension. Dimension might not have been the right word to use, as opposed to, you know, 1D, 2D, 3D, and 4D. Let's talk about alternate realities. You know what? I'm not interested in hearing this mumbo-jumbo science stuff. I want to know about well, this detonator that you got that, that has your fingerprints on it. And he stands up and that, bangs his head, bangs his hand on the table. Okay, that's hard on the equipment. Tables just don't grow on trees. Your threat is coming from this alternate reality and alternate dimension that mirrors this one. In this dimension, there's another one of you in that dimension. Would you believe it? That has your same DNA. Might not have your same, going down the same growth patterns and experiences. They'd be slightly different because they are individuals, but they track closely in their similarities. This detonator was built and used by somebody from that dimension like me. And you can find that by the quantum signature that's on that device. His mind boggles for a second. I'm just going to roll some insight. And let's roll insight security for him just to see how well he processes this. Uh, as soon as I get to my dice rolling chat. There we go. Hmm. Okay, smart guy. Let's say that this whole quantum single thingy dimension malarkey is true. Why should I care? Why should, why should Isabir care about this? Does the name Isabir ring a bell from any of the intel that we had? Mm, tell you what, um, roll me a reason plus security. Uh, difficulty three. Uh, covert ops, maybe? Um, I'd prefer something more along the lines of pattern rec recognition or data analysis. Just because you were yeah. reading Orion intelligence reports for a while. Just trying to pull something out of your memory here. And I'll give you one threat. Okay. Okay. And um, that was diff uh, difficulty three, I'm afraid. Uh, it doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, it should be a threat because... The occupant of that top floor of the building that exploded. I don't know which syndicate, if it is your organization or a competitor, but he was operating on both sides in both of these two realities. Fine. Apparently he did something to the other side that this other organization did not like. And that's why they came after him. We were trying to stop that because we try to prevent 
incursions in these cross-dimensional transgressions. I'm shoveling so much shit right now. Cross dimensions. Universal. You sound like a, something Dude. a Starfleet would say. You're not Starfleet, are you? I, I didn't believe it myself. It sounds like some of these cheap, you know, hollow novels, you know? That some Beringi would be selling on a on, on a side alley or something. But, dude, it's true. I've been over on that other side. I've met the mere me. That's where I got this doggone thing. Hmm. Put a pummelin on him. What, I got this out of his grip. I got a little bit of information out of him before he was able to, to get away. So he's somewhere in the city. There's a... He chuckles, which sort of sounds like a... Uh... Um, an 82 Ford revving its engine. He stands up. He'll walk over to you. Can you please roll me a daring security test, please? That I can. Any focuses? Um... Interrogation, close quarters combat, hand to hand, that sort of stuff. Oh yeah. That's three successes. That's not bad at all. He's going to attempt. He comes over and you all. He's. They've already done this once, so you're sort of prepared for this time as he tries to lightning, tries to land a quick blow on you, and. Not the same kind of blow as the ones that were offered at the bar. No, this is a, you know. <laughs> boom, boom, ching. Yeah. <sighs> Continuity. That's why, that's why Bashir's unconscious. I yeah, got it now. Yeah, precisely. It was something he ate. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I went to, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Horrible. Yeah, we will now go on a 10 minute break while everybody recovers. Uh, 20. <laughs> Well, three. Okay, that's enough. Um, so that's not enough. So you are able to uh, you're able to dodge the blow as it comes. Uh, but for those two threat, I am um, for the threat that you've given me, I will spend the reversal and end the scene with because uh, he is going to bear hug you and drag you back to your cell. Okay, so folks in the cell, uh, if Miss Williams could please roll me an in, uh, roll me a control plus medicine test, please. Uh, difficulty of two. And this is a new episode, so you start with fresh determination, fresh momentum, and fresh activation for Miss Williams, if you wish. I th should have mentioned that off the top. My bad. Okay, three successes. You get one momentum out of the deal. Um, so despite Bashir's multiple injuries, it's not life-threatening. He's got some cracked ribs. The worst injury is probably his uh, twisted antenna, which will seriously affect his equilibrium once he gets back up on his feet. Uh, several cracked ribs. Um, one hand is, for the most, is completely unusable until he can properly... Ah, till he can get proper care at a sick bay. But he'll live. He's just not going to have a happy hang. Ah, the hangover period's going to suck. But you, you're able to do what you can with sheets and other materials found within the prison or within the jail cell. All right. Well, that's the best I can do for you right now, Commander. Just, uh, just rest. Probably Iron already know he's knocked, he's knocked out, but I'll, you know, talk to him anyway. Try to calm him down in Mumble. his dreams. He mumbles something about ice tacos and then slumps back against the wall. Don't be sure we get you all the ice tacos you want once you get out of here. <laughs> so, uh, even though Vay doesn't want to lick those walls, 
I'm still curious. Is, <laughs> can, is there um, are there no panels or loose fitting, uh, like loose fitting panels here at all that we could just like, you know, pry off or dent or control manipulate? Uh, control plus engineering, or control plus security will assist to that. This is going to be a difficulty three test. And if you oh. have like escape artistry. That would be a very good skill to have right now. Look what focus I just picked up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nah. uh, I'm trying to think. What if I use my determination for this? No. Yeah? Uh, what value will you take? Yeah. Uh, friends are worth fighting for. Sure, that works. Um, okay, can you do a duration and also use buy one one die with threat? Okay. I can combine those, right? So, okay, so yep, I'll, I'll okay. three dice, but one of them is, yeah, okay. So I'll yep. use my duration and I have bold for engineering. So, so you said control plus engineering, right? Control engineering, yes. That is four successes. Cool. I believe that's one momentum for you. Yep. Uh, plus my determination, too. Oh, yes. So six successes right. total. So that's three momentum. <clears throat> uh, you p uh, because you're so good with uh, jury rigging things, you're able to spot a uh, bodge job in a second. And it just so happens that behind one of the... that ah, One of the beds that supposedly... You know, supposed to be completely molded into the wall. Looks like someone has done a fairly poor job of reattaching it after an incident. Um, you're able to, ah, you're able to jiggle the bed loose and pull it away from the wall. Uh, behind the wall, you're you're not seeing much beyond a ser a series of wires and whatnot, but it's a start. Oh, now what have we found here? Look at that. Didn't even need to start licking the walls yet. Shame. <laughs> Did you have any money on that? Uh, I mean, I would have said I bet you two ice tacos for it. <laughs> All right. I'll go start inspecting uh, the cables. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is going to be an insight engineering role. Uh, can be assisted with insight science, uh, but for the most, I, uh, for the most part, it's going to be difficulty of two. Uh, does power account. systems, power systems count? Power systems would count. Sorry, what were you going to say there, Wolf Dog? Sorry, nah, I jump in the gun. I'm eager. Okay. <laughs> I want to um, be on the lookout just to make sure the guys don't come back while we're fiddling with cables. No, that is That's all. that is difficult because the. Uh, there's no windows or you know barred walls for you just to catch a glimpse or catch a glance, but I will let you do a uh, so Roman insight plus security test difficulty of one just to keep a lookout and listen for. Oh, just listening, listening yeah. for footsteps. Yep, no. that's it. Uh, so Thashran is difficulty of two, please, and that's the yep. one success I'm... for Williams. Yep, Our... I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna spend one momentum. Okay. And that is four successes for Thishran. Man, engineers cleaning up here. You spend hey, one they heard my fellow Andorians. Huh? Yeah. You spend one momentum and you get two back. You should be a Ferengi, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Thishran, you find... Uh, you're finding several insulated wires, of course, that for power flow. You're not able to really track where they are coming and going to, but you've, there appear to be a decent amount of power down here. Um, surprisingly, the other set of cables is... Go, you know, there's some for data, but what's most interesting is there is a decent amount for environmental systems. Is that localized to just this area or for like a wider, like even outside the... The yeah, cell. It's probably for a. It's probably station or it's. Ah, it's probably facility equipment, not just. Uh, not just cell. Okay. 
And how much would I be able to make that, like, fluctuate? Um, well, considering you have access to the cable, it would be either on or off. Oh, okay. All right, that's a bit of promise there. Um, anything else? That's the only thing I found so far, I guess. Uh, pretty much power cables, data cables, and um, yeah, environmental systems cables, yes. Okay, uh, I'll relay that to the others, but I guess we'll have to wait for Helsinki to come back before we make any moves anyways. Is there anything in there for grav plating? Uh, sorry, for what? Grav plating. Oh, grav plating. No. Um, I should... Um, you, you asked a question, you should spend a momentum for that, please. True. Yeah. And just as you're asking that question, you hear the sound of uh, heavy footfalls coming towards you. Run back quickly, push the bed back into place. All right. The door opens up, and two of the faceless enforcers push Helsing in. They, without asking for anyone else, they step out and pull the heavy door shut, and you hear the clack as the lock, or as the uh, deadbolt slides into place again. Okay, in case they come in again, take somebody real quick. What I have told them so far is about the mirror universe. We're hunting a mirror, the mirror me, who gave me the detonator. He's the one who set the bomb because the Tholian was operating on both sides of the divide. Everything is exactly true. So that's what I told him. One of the guards went to go talk to somebody higher. Does the name Isabir ring a bell to any of you? Probably not. Be he has a beer? I thought he had a beer, but, oh, they but said he, he is a beer. A beer. He oh. is a beer. So I did I was pouring over the reports that it's just tickling in the back of my head. I just can't put a finger on it. I was hoping one of y'all might. Um, but I did tell them that we were hunting the Tholian and the Mirror Me because they're operating on both sides of the divide and that we are something akin to the temporal enforcement agency, but making sure that writ crosses across crosses across crosses any crossing of the divide between realities is halted. They, they actually thought we were Starfleet. Could you believe that? Outrageous. <laughs> uh, in other news, while you're out, we um, did, dis did discover how many licks it takes to get to the outside of this Tootsie Roll cell. Good job, Vaid. <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, you've only exposed that one small part of this Tootsie Roll, and it's not not the tastiest Tootsie Roll. You didn't look it either. <laughs> I never, Vaid, I never made it in, without biting. We're speaking in metaphors, Vaid. I, I don't know if, if you have that in, in your culture. <laughs> I, I think next time during cultural sensitivity training, we'll have to instruct you as how metaphors work. Oh Is that a simile? Or a metaphor. You know what? <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 teach Vader about both of those things. Bashir sits up. Okay. Assimilate Borg. No Borg. Sleep. No. Ah, unconscious Bashir is now my favorite character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, I'll tell how thing how thing about uh, what we found about the cables, with the power cables, and then the environmental controls. Okay, because it's I'm. Y'all probably feel it too. We, there's not artificial gravity, so we're natural gravity, at least on a planet, possibly still Orion. We're we're not up in space somewhere, which is good. But we could be underwater. There's a lot of rust along outside where metal plating is. I mean, it could be down deep inside the city sewers, or potentially underwater, is my guess. Good with snow, not so much being underwater. 
Yeah, not my favorite. Not as bad as being up in space, but there is no. Um, there's a good. loud bang on the on their door outside. So let me get my tokens in place here. The door opens, F, and in walk the two brutes. Uh, you can see that they're each carrying a large ceremonial sword. Well, probably not ceremonial. It's definitely seen use. But they're very well, or they're very ornate. The two come in, and they indicate that you all should head should head to the furthest wall. Uh, I'll start making my way to the furthest wall. Do they just have their sword, or are they still armed with their? Uh... Uh, th these two no. these two have swords, but there are several enforcers outside that you are able to catch glimpses of that have pistols. Okay. Then I'll comply. <laughs> Alright. Anyone not complying? I will go very slowly watching them the whole way. Okay. Uh, we should probably help Bashir. Comply. Yeah, Dragon Bashir as well. Yeah, they seem content to just leave unconscious Bashir on a bed. They enter, uh, take place and or take a position about halfway into the room, and in walks a female Orion, dressed rather sl uh, dressed in a fairly slinky outfit compared to the bodyguard's more rough and tumble attire, complete down to stereotypical red high heels because that's how Orions be. Uh, she's not carrying anything aside from a data pad. And it's been long enough for that anti pheromone it vaccine has. to wear off. Oh, it? yes. Yeah. Yes, it has. Uh, she looks at each one of you and uh, flicks her eye, or ah, blinks her eyes rapidly as it adjusts to the lighting of the cells and just gives her hair a toss as she looks at the data file or the data pad in front of her. So we have two Orions, a Trill, a Bajor, and a human. Or a Bajoran and a human. Now, I find it very difficult to believe that my rivals would take out one of my best assets with such a motley crew. So you're either mercenaries or you're one of Starfleet's group. It's not the first time they've tried something stupid like this. Just not with me so and she sits down on the bed that is uh, that is currently ah that is currently taken up by Bashir and lays a hand on his head sm smoothing out some of his must up hair he smiles so my boys here have told me all about this alternate universe stuff and she brings up both of her hands and claps that's a delightful story and quite frankly at least the part about the poor Tholian working in both was completely accurate <laughs> uh, he brought me business imagine being able to exploit the same territory twice the amount of profit was insane. And then you, or someone like you, blew it up and left you with the bag. She... That's pretty close. Well. So, I have quite the conundrum here. Obviously, you... Well, if you are as innocent as you claim, you could go out, I could let you out, and hope that you just turn around and go back to wherever you came from. You could have always killed him and go back, report your success, and no one would be the wiser. 
Of course, I could, of course, ask you to help me. <laughs> like I do that. You're not Orion? Well, we're not Orion, true. But interests often coincide. We weren't after Patholian. We were after the people who were after him. Hmm. We stumbled upon him. I mean, you can go back and you can check the video footage in the hotel and you'll see when we arrived and you'll probably see when someone who looks exactly like me showed up and was planting explosives up around that seven, up around that hundredth floor. She's, uh, she stands up and strides towards you, her heels making a uh, metallic click every time they connect with the surface. She gets uncomfortably close to you guys. And if Mr. Helsing could please roll me an opposed uh, afraid to do that. reason plus contest uh, versus her presence plus con. No, let's do command. Yes. Um, yeah. Yep. Roll me uh, insight plus command, and this will be against her pheromones. Um, persuasion is a focus? I'll let that work, yes. And... I'm going to take all three momentum for two dice. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's three successes as the defender, so she will need four uh, to get that. I will spend one of the few threat that you have given me thus far to get an extra dice. <clears throat> This isn't your first time being entranced by an attractive woman, Mr. Helsing. However, well, green's not your color. You're able to... Un, uh, not, ah, blah, blah, blah. You are able to not only withstand her um, pheromones, but you have gained a resistance to it for the rest of the scene. So she can't use that against you. Could I, by chance, let on that she has? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I should say that you beat her by two successes, so you get two momentum. This is going to be a deception test, so... And probably... Uh, this is going to be a daring plus command test. And, once again, persuasion won't count as a focus. And this will be opposed by her insight command. And I will use one of those momentum okay. for a third die. So she is the defender in this case. So that's three successes for you. And I don't have any more threat to spend at the moment. Nope, she... Had it by that much. Yep. She slaps you for one point of uh, stress. She's surprisingly hard. Or she hits surprisingly oh. hard. I smile. And she turns you around. Kinda, you do the shoulder. Said, well, you gotta try. So, here's the problem, boys and girls. You're... I appreciate you giving me that piece of information. But I don't see any reason why I need you to help me. I, for that matter, don't see any reason why I need to let you live. So, sh she leaves, closes the door. Oh, before she goes, mm -hmm. just want to ask her a question. Hypothetical. She'll uh, spin on her heel and locks eyes. Has Starfleet been knee-deep in your knickers in the past? 
either from this side of the universe apparently they've been in your in your business on the other side of the mirror universe because that was a starfleet well not the starfleet but the mirror universe of starfleet operative that came after the tholian it doesn't matter eventually they get found out and i take care of them the same way i'm taking care of you and with that she strides out closes the door and the two menace and the two brutes draw their swords and come towards you menacingly anybody else in the room just the four of you and Bashir but you know so we're going to uh, cut to the P we're going to cut to uh, well so captain um, the away team is standing by uh, it's been about an hour since they've been told to assemble. Is there anything that you do you wish to authorize the mission? Or are you still in a wait and see pattern? No, we're here to uh, find out where they are and get them out. So, obviously not going in under the pretense of Starfleet. Obviously. But uh, other than that, no. we find them, you tell us where they are, and it's just a rescue operation at this point. Okay, cool. We'll take we don't care. really have the tech to make it look like... Well, since we're bringing alternative tech regardless, it's going to look like somebody else, so I'm not really concerned about, you know, right. going out of my way to do something like that. Okay. Why is he so big? Oh, okay, so we have... It's midday, and if it weren't for the fact that the luxury hotel was missing its upper story, the... There's several um, hover cranes attempting to enact quick repairs, but the cordon, or a cordon, has been placed uh, approximately a block away from the city, or a block away from the hotel. Everything is. Or, uh, there's a heavy, quote-unquote, police presence. Whether or not they're actual police is difficult to tell. But that's the scene at the moment. You have brought the shuttle down within uh, the city's um, yeah you have brought the shuttle down in the city's uh, transportation and shuttle or shuttle bay yeah shuttle airfield that's the phrase I'm looking for the, sh the city's airfield and have had to um, what's the phrase I'm looking for Oh yeah, declined to play to pay various bribes, intimidation, money, etc., as necessary to get here. So, I'd like to make sure that we can continue to uh, maintain contact with the Nighthawk at this point, since still under uh, still under covert. I know, I understand that there's a planetary there's a planetary shield in the way that we scam, scramble communications, but at this point I want the away team to make a constant contract through the shuttlecrafts. Okay. So, at least, I want to have... yeah. Go ahead. At least to the shuttlecrafts, it's easy easy peasy, okay. but shuttlecraft to ship will require rolls. Gotcha. Alright. That's all I need to know. Okay. <clears throat> so I'd like to... Um, have the individuals in the shuttlecrafts scan airspace to see if we could actually track any of the uh, outgoing shuttles in this area, or if we could get any uh, comm trails or specific uh, energy signatures that would be typical, or atypical, I suppose, in this situation of Orion's. Okay. Uh, an insight science test, and if someone wishes to so this is probably going to be a Miss Jackson test, unless one of your science chaps are sticking behind. Or are you doing all yeah. this before you depart the shuttle bay, the shuttle yard? I think it would be done before we left, or, okay. or when we're like on the way there. So Okay, so whoever wants to uh, roll Insight Science, and the type... You're taking the XX, right? We have the XX Jefferson. Yeah, no, yeah, we have Jeff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Cool. Okay, so probably and the type this, XX. 
and, and this is important because it might affect what you end up rolling the call. Mm -hmm. Did you want, and this is what Lax was asking you earlier by going in heavy, um, armor in phase threes or mm -hmm. type threes? I okay. Do. So that, okay. That's the escalation cost. Yep, it is. For both. Yep. But I want that stuff uh, in the shuttle, though. When we find the away team, then I just want it transported to the uh, rest team at the same time, so then they just have the gear. I don't want them to walk around, obviously, with type with type threes and armor. <laughs> Understood. <clears throat> okay, so if someone can pick up one of the characters to roll an insight science, and the type XX can assist with sensors plus science, and this is going to be a difficulty of four, because it has been a a significant amount of time has passed, and you're trying to find a proverbial needle in a haystack. True. I'll go ahead and pick up Miss Jackson. Okay. Small craft operations will count. You got the ship. No, if you have a sensor analysis or sensor systems, that would be a better focus. Mm. Yeah. Only one success. Uh, is this... The skies are just too busy, and the streets just too crowded for the sensor systems in the shuttle to effectively scan or pick anything up out of the ordinary. Aside from the fact that the building is, you know, m missing its top. Well... Can uh, Togi go ahead and uh, give me some eyes in the sky right now? Ah. You're asking Togi to shapeshift. I think that I might am, require... You know? Is that one momentum to activate that, or two? I forget. Uh, who's got Togi's sheet? Uh, shift up to one twice. Momentum. Yeah. Uh, okay, player may spend one momentum. Okay. Cool. Yep, yeah, so... I will say that Togi can definitely... You can spend that one momentum for Togi to disperse. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if Togi could please roll me an insight plus... Hmm. Probably insight plus science roll for Togi. And someone could, of course, activate him. And I see that he has hazard awareness as a focus, so I think that would work well for this. He have a sheet up, and you said it was what roll? Uh, insight science. Uh, let's insight roll this at difficulty of two. And that's the two successes you need. <clears throat> hmm. So it takes a so Togi disperses his particles or his spores, uh, your spores, spread out throughout Orion's sky. Um, it will take you a little bit of time to find what you're looking for and remerge, but I will tell you what you find and when when the time is right. So for the moment, Togi is dispersed to the four winds. All right then. In the meantime, I suppose the best place to start is still investigating the actual site of the explosion itself. So I'd like uh, Loxley and Zahn to go ahead and head up there and uh, see if there's any other security or other personnel that are still on this floor. Uh, so scan for life signs with their tricorders before we get in. I'd like the rest of the away team to uh, start doing being social butterflies and start asking questions. Okay. Uh, so if Loxley and Zot wish to actually break through the cordon, that's going to be a, an opposed control security test. Uh, infiltration, covert ops, stuff like that would be good. And it would be opposed by... Uh, actually, I'll just set the difficulty at three. Does anybody want to run Loxley? So. You go ahead and grab Zod, but... I can grab okay. Loxley. Okay, right. I'll let you take Loxley. Mm -hmm. She's got an activation do or two, so you got a free one. Mm -hmm. 
I just don't want people to assume I'd just be jumping on character. Oh, you do security so well. Oh. Yeah, we wouldn't be in this mess if I did. Uh, so Loxley, you can roll uh, control security. Zot, you can also assist. <clears throat> and it's a difficulty three. And you can give the GM threat for another die there. You could. I mean, I I don't say no to threat. I'm kind of starving at the moment. So that's one success from Zot. What does Loxley roll? Halsing, do you have Loxley? Or... I thought, yeah, uh, I have her up. I thought you were going to do her. I, for yeah. a second, I thought you were. <laughs> so I was like, oh, uh... Do you want to run her? Or... What? I have her up, but I, okay, I do don't it. remember the role, though. Uh, control security. Control security. Yep. Then you can give the GM one threat for one extra die. All right. All right. Okay, yes. that is uh, four successes in total. So you get one momentum. Uh, you're able to... You're able to duck around a absent-minded uh, guard who seems more attractive by a couple of uh, Orion ladies of the night. And his attention is suitably distracted for you guys to sneak right through and into the hotel lobby. Uh, the hotel lobby is, sim is currently vacant. except for the tokens who don't need to be here. There we go. Now you're you're right. in. Now what? As we uh, make our way up, I want to make sure I'll like to scan for life signs to see if there's anybody else here. The lobby's empty. Ah. But uh, is there anybody else lurking here in this hotel? Okay. Probably shouldn't be. Insight Medicine, difficulty of two. And Loxley Abrell could assist with Insight Medicine if she wishes. Ooh, three successes from Zot. And oh. nothing from Abrell. <clears throat> so you are... Let's see. Uh, so most of the life signs are currently... Uh, there's ten of them, and they are all up in the upper levels. Um, floors 95 through what's left of 100. Except for two life signs that are in room 303. Can I determine um, their species? Ah, yes, you can. Um, the ones up on the upper levels are all Orion. The ones on... The ones in 303... Are uh, one is Orion, the other one appears human. Right, well, the one lone human in a uh, hotel of Orions. Mm -hmm. I think that's worth investigating. Especially after a bombed out hotel building. Okay. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Bro? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You head up these. Ah. Apologies. You head up the stairways to room 303. It is closed up. There is a sign on the door. Or there's a sign on the door that says no housekeeping at this time. Thank you. So how would you like to do this? The knock, knock, kick down the door, or go in silently? What it me? Are they talking this out loud? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm asking. I'm asking Loxley out loud. What? It's me kicking down the door, right? If you want. <laughs> I could always shoot the door too. I suppose. That's true. You're a security a officer here. Well, 
situation's bad, so shoot the lock, kick the door. Fun. Okay. Uh, roll me some challenge dice, please. Nope. Uh, hang on. You said, okay, so you're shooting the lock, you're kicking the door. Uh, roll melee challenge dice, please. Uh... So that would be two, uh, one plus your security, unless you have any more, or unless you have talents. Phasers is the talents and in, in, infiltration, or focus. Mm. Sorry, I'm not, I'm looking at yeah. <laughs> quick to action. Yeah, she, has, she has martial arts. Yeah, so that's and, a, yes. Oh, so that's a good focus. Give me but, six challenge dice. Oh, six challenge dice. Okay. Yeah, she's got five security. So you're, uh, you uh, shoulder your way, or you sh try to throw yourself into the door jam, and you bounce off. It's quite heavily reinforced. There's a muffled vo uh, human voice from the other, or muffled voice in uh, Federation standard yells, "Go away! We are safe here. We don't need any assistance. Thank you." It's a matter of clearing the building. <laughs> For safety, of course. Yes, yes, yes. We've we've been through this song and dance before. My partner and I are perfectly happy here. We accept the risk, and we've paid for our, we have paid for the ah, we have paid for privacy, and we expect it. Damn it! Well, I understand how you may feel that way, but the situation has become untenable. Would you please open the door? Uh, okay. The door opens a crack, and you are greeted by Mr. Soong holding a disruptor pistol through the crack in your general direction. I said leave. He looks you up and down. Oh, more Starfleet. Great. He slumps ever so noticeably. And on that, we are going to take our bio break. So let's be back in about 15 minutes, so 35 past the hour. All righty then. And we will see you guys shortly. I just love to bother song. <laughs> <laughs> And we are back. So, while they begin to inquisit a uh, potentially grumpy android, the other people are trying to fight for their lives against two big hulking people with swords. So, let's break out combat here, folks. And it is the good guys get to go first so what is it that the good guys wish to do um quick question yes. on how they're dressed are they in any type of armor or is it just clothes uh i'm not entirely sure clothes is the proper definition um maybe a bunch of buckles straps chains and conveniently placed pieces of leather would be the better uh, description of their attire. <clears throat> but they have swords. You don't. But you do outnumber them. So let's see how this goes. Just remember. Well, they both have swords. They both have swords. It's probably a good thing that I have uh, melee combat as a focus. Yeah. Thank God. Yes, it is. All right. I hold my hand up to him saying, you don't need to do this. We've been trying to help you all. 
They look to one another. Smirk. And you have. A great deal. Now let us help you. Well, we're helping ourselves to you. So, one of you had better take your action, otherwise they're going to. I'm going for it. Okay. Um, Huey, Dewey, or Louie? Where's Louie? It's one we don't see that's going to come in any minute. Um, I'll go after the Brendan Fraser lookalike. All right. And, okay. This is for in combat. That is daring security, right? Daring security, that's right. I think I'd know this by now. That's all right. Um, we don't have any momentum. You do not, no. I'll, I'll give you one threat okay. for a third die. That's three successes. And that's mm -hmm. the Brendan Fraser lookalike. Let's give me a second here. I am just tweaking tokens because I had all break to do that, and I didn't because that is the type of GM I am. Update all tokens. Why are we not seeing his name tag? I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the game. Uh, the Brendan Fraser lookalike will roll daring plus fitness. Or daring plus security. So you win that fight. Ah, roll some. Ah, roll. Okay. I have mean right hook and um, martial artist. So yep. it's intense and vicious. Ooh, nice. So it's six dice. Ooh. That is a good punch. And one... One effect, so... Really? I don't see the effect. It's what the... Isn't what that what the one is? Uh, no, no, it, it isn't. It would, it is. it would say right. one plus effect if you did. So... Um, let's re-roll... Use a, that one floating momentum to re-roll those two zeros. Sure. Oh, that's eight, eight stress, which is a significant amount. Let me just... I have to leave it at that, so it wishes. Go. Update all tokens, and do that. Okay. So he takes that much stress. How much stress does he have in total? A lot. Yep. Huh. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sucker punch him right in the ribs as he tries to swing at you, or as he approaches you. He's not a. Eh, he's not expecting your immediate assault. Most people tend to run away from, or bulkier Ryan's wielding sharp objects, but you have done. You have proven him quite wrong. <clears throat> and he takes quite a significant amount. I mean... But despite your best effort, he is still standing. And you better believe that blade is coming at you. So opposed daring... Uh, opposed daring security tests, please. And I'm going to spend... How much stuff do I have? I don't think I have any at the moment. Sorry, just doing mental math. Nope, I don't think I have threat. I probably should be keeping track of this somewhere. Anyways. Let's do that. 
Ooh, so you only need to roll one success, and you beat it, so you get to deal uh, unarmed, or you get to deal melee damage. And I'll say as I'm doing this, don't want to do this. Okay, so that's two effects. That means I have to spend two threat, otherwise he gets knocked on his ass. I currently don't believe I have that threat to spend. And with, um, what is it, intense, the cost to avoid an injury is increased by one for each effect rolled. Oh, well. So it hmm. really did six damage because of Vicious. Oh, it's oh six damage Vicious. Okay, you punch him. Yeah. Or you artfully dodge out of the way of the blade. You've, you've done this on much scarier um, holodeck opponents, apparently. Um, I just think it's funny just that you kick him in the groin. And he goes down. His eyes bulge out of his sockets. Um, nose or his nose starts bleeding, and he starts panting very heavily. He is out of combat. Anyway, I look over at Zaros and I say, "Now you were the smart one. When we were talking down before, you don't have to do this. My lady commands it." And so he he approaches with his sword sparking along the ground, anime style, and so I must. Anyways, uh, good guys good to go. Who wishes to go next? Uh, can I go next? Absolutely. I'm going to try to jump kick him in the face. Ooh, okay, daring security. Uh, I'll give you a threat to give an extra die. Okay. And that's four successes. Yeah, for Shran, the work is paying off. Yep. Um, I'm going to have to spend that threat you gave me for a dice of my own. Just so that he has a chance of doing something. And that's going to be only three successes. Uh, roll me some challenge dice there, Thashran. I believe that is one plus your security rating. So five challenge dice, unless you have momentum and one. Oh, good lord. Okay, uh, so that is five. Stress to him. And I have no threat, so he goes on his ass. No one, ex no one expects the Andorian flying jump kick. No, they do not. Look over at you. Well done. But you've passed training. Okay. Well, I'm it's... glad to hear it. All the training sessions have paid off. <laughs> Man, I am so glad. It's now Zarus's turn. He spends his minor action to pick himself back up, grab his sword from where it's been, where it dropped on the floor beside him. Oh, and he's not knocked out. No, he's knocked down. I... Yeah. No, Thumb, they took a... Uh, just because of their ability, or because of their role, and the fact that they're just big, brutal, tough guys, they suffer They suffer an injury on seven. Ah, uh, gotcha. But yeah, so he got knocked down, but he got up again. You're never going to keep him down. <laughs> And he's going to try to swing at Mr. Thishran. So opposed daring plus uh, security test, please. As he pulls his sword. I have no threat to give him more dice. You need to meet or beat, and you don't. So that sword is coming for you. And that is a heavy blade with a vicious one. And let's roll seven challenge dice so that is a grand total of seven stress damage to you Mr. Thishran as the sword sinks deeply into a uh, deeply into your shoulder so you can take the injury actually I think that's the only thing you can do to avoid an injury you need to spend momentum you can and, use your determination oh yes you could spend your determination too oh no you can't you've already spent it 
Yeah, I spent one. Can you spend more than one in a scene? Um, do you? So well, determin you determination. Milestone. Yeah. So determination is typically once per, you know, episode. However, because of how we store mile points, which will then turn into milestones, uh, which will then turn into arcs or scenes. But you get three points of determination. Like you can store up to three points. You could, but only if I give you. Um, if I have given you at some, like if I've given you a determination at some point in the oh, past. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you only start with one per session. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you could spend one of your uh, stored milestone points right now if you'd like, or you could just take the injury and go out of combat. What is my max stress anyway? Um, is it? It should be on your character sheet. It is, I believe, a total of fitness plus security. It'll be fitness plus security. security. Oh, so, okay. Um, oh, then I have 12. Okay, so I could yeah. take the hit then. Yeah. I, oh, if you, yeah. So, if you take... If you if a character takes more than five or five or more damage from a single attack, then they're, they suffer an injury and go out of combat. So, okay. but you'll you'll be fine. I mean, yeah, yeah. Deja could probably heal you, but yes. Uh, I'll just take the hit. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, you take a s massive slash down your right side. Uh, it draws a significant amount of blood. Uh, let's see. Ooh, injuries. If the in injury came from a lethal attack, which is totally dead, uh, at the end of the scene in which a character was injured by a lethal attack, they die, unless they have received first aid. So, uh, thankfully, you have a medical personnel here. Oh, jeez, yeah. Uh, anyways, so Thashran is out of combat. And that is bad guy's turn, so both Vaid and Deja can go. That sure shows me for uh, giving Helsing a thumbs up after jump kicking that guy. <laughs> but he was knocked out. Yeah, they, then he gets up on my back turn and then slashes me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we still got some work to do. Yeah. I think Deja would try to go ahead and uh, tackle the other person. Okay. Opposing daring security? Or, dar yeah, daring security. Just remember, you can't give me threat. I shall. Okay. Oh. I mean, let's just see how much momentum you get from this, because he got zero successes. <laughs> so I gave you momentum for an extra die. Well, yeah, a threat for... Threat for die, yeah. Extra die. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. So that is two successes. So roll me some challenge dice, please. I think that's five challenge dice. And with two momentum... Uh, yep, two momentum. So you get two momentum of that. You get, you deal him four points of damage, or four stress. And once again, he's down on his ass. And because of the complication, his blade skitters away uh, towards Vaid. And it's Vaid's turn. So he's down. So um, he can only. <clears throat> so he can only. Ah. So he has to. So any attack you make against him, he needs one additional success. Okay. To meet or beat. So do you pick up the sword? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, the other guy's down, right? Or yeah, unconscious? he's... Yep, he's unconscious. Okay. Um, we do not have anything on uh, on us that could produce, like, we could break it, like, 
damn it like communicators that we could break and like potentially use to uh i mean uh electrocute him <laughs> oh, i know there's a say what you're looking to shock him oh yes um i mean it's difficult to do with him with zaris still technically being conscious and able to fight there would be the power right. cables on the side but beyond that no okay and with him being on the ground he need one more success yeah mm. difficult to one more so it's, it's easier for you to hit him oh yes yeah i'll go ahead and hit him okay now uh if you're using lethal force uh that does give me threat i should tell you that uh i'm gonna aim and knock him out okay Is that control security? Uh, daring security, please. Daring security. Can I get another momentum? You can. Or you can. Momentum. You, a die. <laughs> yep, you have two dice or two momentum. You could spend that for a third dice. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Cool. Two successes. He needs three. He does not get three. Uh, roll me some challenge dice, please. So that would be um, uh, four challenge dice, please. And because you're using a non-lethal version, you don't get the vicious quality of the blade. Wow. That is... You whop him upside the head, but you just don't deal him a heck of a lot Dang of it. damage. <laughs> um, Helsing has quick to, quick to action. Okay, that's good, because cool. it is the start of the next round, so... Exactly. And I'll walk up to him, give you one threat for a third die, and hopefully put this one to bed. Okay. Uh, he's still down, so you know the rolls. Oof. That's four successes. Um... You know what? I'm going to spend one threat to give him a third, just because. Yep, not even close. You get two momentum, and roll me some challenge dice. <clears throat> yep. You don't even need fancy kung fu from this. You just walk up and kick him in the chin. His neck snaps back, makes an audible popping sound, and he goes limp. Um, they have secured the one sword. I'll secure the other one. Deja, take care of uh, Tran. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to be able to pop that cable and hopefully get us out of here. So if a Deja could please roll me a first aid test, which is going to be control security or not control security, control medicine, uh, which will be, let's see, I believe that is difficulty of two, and anyone can assist. Any, well, one individual can assist. Vid, what's your medicine? Medicine is... Oh, I'm sorry, it's daring medicine with a difficulty of one. Medicine is four. Yeah, go ahead and give them an assist. I'm only a two. Well, technically it's higher than Deja's, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll still uh, go ahead and uh, roll here. All right. Yeah, we'll pick this up. Daring medicine. <laughs> Holy... Uh, Deja for the win. That's a grand total of five successes. Uh, I think that brings you up to max momentum. Uh, so, Commander Thashran, you 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 don't feel good, but you're up on your feet and once again are a productive member of the Starfleet Away team. Now, does he regain any of his stress? Uh, let me double check that. Uh, first aid is... Uh, let's see. 
The character may spend two momentum from this to get the patient back to fight right away. Uh, um, oh, they remain incapacitated. So you need to spend two momentum to get them up and running now. Which is good, because you have a lot of it. Yeah, we need to do that. So we're down to four and Shan will be up. Okay. I, I feel like I really did lick the entire room and not metaphorically. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, because I'm missing five stress, could Deja put on the healing hands and. You know, I've never actually looked at that part of the rule. How well, one I haven't either. Because I haven't really been, you know, attacking with intent to actually do real damage up until now. Um, hmm. Well, tell you what, tell me what you're going to do, and I will investigate to see about removing stress. I'm, I'm looking to, so, um, we can start getting the other stuff. Um, you guys, you said you found something, some power conduits that might be able to get us out of here, and in the meantime, I'm searching the two guards for keys, com badges, anything else, other weapons. <laughs> ah, you are in luck. Uh, you get the two blades, of course. Um, which one was it? It was... Of course I deleted them. <laughs> it was a, the Brendan Fraser one. He has an old uh, TNG or TOS-style flip communicator. And he... And Zarus, the bald guy, has a fairly large... At first glance, it appears to be a skeleton key. But upon closer inspection, you do see several uh, integrated integrated uh, components that are typically required for this sort of, you know, a lock that requires both physical and electronic uh, connect things. Beautiful. And, okay, good. I might have a way to get out. Found a key and a comm communicator. Um, who's good with communications I have a focus all right I talked to the communicator yeah okay I talked to Bay of the communicator um, see what you can do about that about keeping whatever channels are on there and see if you can get a, some type of communication out to the Nighthawk all right. even if it's just a, a pulse on our frequency Three data epsilon tau omega three subband alpha. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, this is going to be a control plus science and um, could be assisted with a control engineering if wish, if need be. Uh, this is going to just where you are and this is going to be difficulty three. So that is one success from Vaid. Uh, Thashran or Deja or Helsing is going to have to roll a critical. All right. This is a control plus engineering, right? Yep. For the... Um... I'm afraid yeah. not. Well, the good news is, is that the communicator at least still functions. You send out a ping, but you're not really getting a response. All right. We'll keep it for now. At least we can talk to whoever's on the other end of it. Um, in healing is control medicine difficulty of two. Yeah. Uh, such as tools available, places being performed, and number of injury-related complications patients suffer can all adjust that. Mm -hmm. So right. Right. that doesn't that removes the injury. So technic yeah. So the Shran still has an injury. So, um, given your current situation, that's, I'm going to say that's a difficulty four test to get the Shran working properly. However, I don't believe stress could actually be removed until after the mission is over or a proper yeah. visit to a sick bay. Yeah, that's so, what I'm seeing yeah. as well. Okay. So, so we're going to be hurting. You're going to be hurting. Well, I'll do my best to, uh, fix his shoulder up the best I can. Okay. Uh, control medicine difficulty four, please. 
Yeah, at least so it doesn't fall off. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nah, make sure it doesn't get infected. <laughs> I'll, uh, he'd be off. Hmm? If he loses his shoulder, he'll be off balance. Yeah, well, I, hopefully it doesn't, one doesn't become, one arm doesn't become shorter than the other. Hopefully his hand's just looking back and forth like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Put a momentum here for an extra day. Sure thing. Oh. Okay. I have to remove that application for more. Uh, so, uh, Deja, you have come to the stark conclusion that in order to properly balance the Shran, it's best just to injure the other shoulder. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you know what? Because I'm I'm hurting for threat, I will just take that for... I'll take the complication for threat. Um, I will say that you are able to put it in a makeshift sling, uh, but he still has the injury. Uh, so while injured, you cannot take minor actions during combat, and I get to impose extra difficulty on you should the situation require it. Well, a sling is better than nothing. Yeah. Probably, uh, I will. I'll tear off the pieces of my uh, of my pretty woman dress that I'm sure I <laughs> yeah, <laughs> had on the first time around. Yep. This uh, the stunning red dress, and uh, you know I don't I don't need it anymore. I'll replicate a new one if we live through this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's going to be cramping, cramping my dancing style. Yeah. Okay. What now? All right. So the panel that you found, what all did that control? I found power cables and environmental uh, controls. So I can, I can turn, I can either turn them off or turn them on. So environmental, is that anything with lighting or just air movement, temperature? Because uh, I don't want to kill the lights if I don't have to. I Is that just all or nothing? That's my assumption anyways, right? Unle until you can get a more thorough understanding of what the what passes through the cable. That's yeah, whatever is passing through it is either on or off. Okay. Yeah, no, no granularity there. Did everything on or everything off? Okay, so it's lights, lights as well. Yeah. And down here would. Well, is there emergency lighting? Maybe. Uh, I hang on. There's a slight. So lighting is controlled through power. That's easy. Environmental systems are, of course, air circulation, artificial gravity, that sort of stuff. You know. So. You could cut why? You could cut lights. You could cut the environmental systems. Those are separate. Okay, beautiful. Um, I'm not sure either one is that that great for us. Yeah. Lights actually might be better, but it it would be pitch black. We have nowhere to know where we're going. we got to yeah. be able to see a little bit. All right. Um, Vader, Deja, which one of you would be better handling a sword? I'll raise my right hand. <laughs> uh, Vade, you want to hand Deja the sword? Sure. Um, Shan, you can walk. Um, we got the. Can Bashir toddle? No, he no, he can't. Be... No, he is. He's out cold. Aside from a couple spells of delusionary, nope, he's out. All right, so. I, I think whisper in. I have to help. Yeah, you're definitely going to be helping. Can you carry him by yourself or are you going to need assistance? I can try. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll help you move him on out. It's, I don't want to. If something comes down, he's going to be dropped quick as I go to take care of it. How about. Uh... We keep Vade and Thishran in the back, even though he could kind of lean. Bashir could kind of lean on Shishran's good shoulder, so he doesn't mess that up even more. Right. So they could just, you know, distribute the weight while you and I take point. Good Thishran? Yep. Oh, it'll have to be. All right. Um, Bashir, we have ice tacos. 
Taco? For me? Make it yeah, you so! Have to, you have to come with us and you have to be quiet. For the Every glory time... of the Federation! He will fall. He falls into your arms. Okay. All right. I test the key at the door. Now that's the problem is that this side doesn't have a this side doesn't have a keyhole. Damn it. All right. Um remembering what the knock was that they used yeah. on when Brandon Fraser left me. Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready? No idea what's on the other side, so be be ready. Here it comes. I do the same knock, same pattern. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, boom. Okay. While we do... Th so, we are going to go back to the city of Carnarvon. So, uh, it's been a couple hours, and Togi, uh, you slowly uh, recoalesce back at the shuttle, where... Noel, Hanara, and Wooler are eagerly awaiting, and uh, also Miss Jackson, she's here, are eagerly awaiting any information you may have. Uh, your spore is attached to several flyers, and they headed out throughout most of the city. Most of them were, you know, absolutely pointless. Uh, however, three of them... Um, ah. Three of them attached themselves to a flyer that appeared to have been part of the, uh, the Orion uh, Emergency Response Patrol. However, this one did not f uh, fly in any direction that the others did. Instead, it broke off over the water and headed, and headed out over sea. Uh, your, spores detect, or your spores detached just before it entered the water you have a general idea where said flyer might have gone. Alrighty then. Well, I'd like to attempt to bring up while we're while we're within the while we're within the shuttle right now. I'd like to see if we could uh you know bring up a topographical map of this area. See sure. if there's anything that we could uh see in that direction over the ocean. That combined with the uh, with the with the scans that we most definitely have taken of this planet, mm -hmm. considering how long we've been here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I will spend uh, one momentum in this one instance, just because you've been here a while. Uh, you can spend one momentum for that advantage. Any objections? All right, let's do it. By all means. Okay. So, uh, Togi, uh, Togi ah, references the map and points to a bay that is approximately 200 kilometers uh, due south of this area. There is a, it is a naturally deep, um, uh, a naturally, or it is apparently an old caldera at one point or another that has long since flooded over and is an unnaturally deep portion of this part of the ocean. So, Togi, having found out that piece of information, we're now going to cut back to Dr. Soong's office, where Zot and Ibrell are attempting to negotiate entrance. You meant Starfleet, sir? Well, of course I meant Starfleet. The other... Other bumblers showed up, said they were from Starfleet, decided to invoke the name of Starfleet Intelligence, and I figured, why not? It would it would only help me in the long run if I played along. I made sure that... Gave them access to my own personal network for crying out loud. And what... How, do they, how did I get repaid for such a favor? They literally took off the top floor of this building. Do you know how much time I have spent designing, developing, and implementing this network in secret with the Orions literally breathing down my neck? 
literally being, and, you know, figuratively, he looks at his partner. I want to do a check. If, if Oxy can do a presence command check, I want to see, see if he's lying. Absolutely. Or if there's any type of other medical check I could do at the same time with my tricorder out looking at him to see if I can read just a, you know, if there's any mannerisms or heightened mm -hmm. blood pressure or anything of the sort that makes me feel like, you know, he might not necessarily be telling us the whole truth. Of course. Uh, insight medicine, uh, difficulty of two. If you have a uh, medical scanning or exobiology or biology for that matter. I do not. All right. Yeah, uh, he does read as human with slightly elevated blood pressure. Milana. Ah, sorry. Milana does. She's just sitting back her. Uh, one leg crossed over the other, and she's just leaned back with her fingers um, laced between each other, just watching. I can't imagine them being a part of blowing off the top part of the build. Whatever happened, happened. Maybe they were just a catalyst. Maybe they were the ones that pushed the button. I don't know, and right now, I don't care. Because as we're talking, I am busy... You have no idea the amount of algorithms that are currently running trying to trying to secretly salvage as much of this data as possible before the Orion syndication or the Orion government or whichever bloody faction of the Orions decide to be in decide to take command of this investigation swoop in here like a pile like a pile of Klingon locusts and devour everything. Uh Lox is going to look over to Zot. Do you think that might be wh what happened to them? I, we haven't had contact with them s for a while. At this point, we can't necessarily rule anything out. But we do know that our officers are missing. And at the, at the very least, they've come into contact with you and your house guest. <laughs> At some point, that's questions. Those are, there are some unanswered questions in the meantime, and if you have all of this data, and since you've already claimed to have provided them assistance in the past, I'm sure you don't mind. Owing oh, Starfleet Intelligence owing you one more favor. Is there anything else that you could actually tell me about what happened to them instead of disparaging your current fiscal predicament? Roll me uh, presence plus command, please. Oof. And that ain't one. happening. <laughs> well, I'll try. You can try. Hmm. That's a interesting roll. Uh, you need to. You need two successes. Loxley, you can assist if you'd like. Okay. I'll go ahead and. Uh give you a threat for another day sure actually no can i call upon my determination instead uh what's your value that you'd like to tap not a second to lose we yeah. are in a hurry that works what's the role to assess um presence plus security so that's five successes from zot And a sixth from Loxley, so that brings you up. That brings you to max plus one floating, I believe. Now, let's see, four, five, six. Yeah, that's a lot. <clears throat> so, halfway during um, his or Mr. Soong's rampant speech, where he starts blaming you and Starfleet Intelligence for all the ills that have literally just happened within the last 48 hours. Something starts to smoke, like literally. He literally blows steam from one of his ears. As one of his eyes instinctively winks closed. Well, 
Now you've done it. I've blown a capa I have blown a positronic capacitor in my th in my right central processing matrix. I literally cannot deal with this right now. Uh, take it. Just he gestures frantically at the computer. Just whatever data you got on whatever data is still on there, you can look at. But I am not stopping the uh, remove. I'm not stopping the scrubbing process. So I estimate you have roughly ten minutes before it's all gone, and I can't guarantee what data's on there. He turns and uh, he bangs out a false wall behind his uh, uh, behind the uh, st small suite, and it slides open to reveal a cybernetics lab, the advance, the, the likes of which you have not seen. As he begins to literally perform neural surgery on himself while he's busy <laughs> ranting. Well, I'll marvel at it later, and at the same, and uh, I'll go ahead and take his kind offer of and pull my tricorder up and try to uh, access the data while at the same time trying to link it back to the shuttles. Okay, um, this is going to be a daring plus computer or daring plus engineering test. How's Loxley's engineering? Yeah. A two. <laughs> I sh should right. mention that around this time is when uh, Togi delivers his information back to the shuttle. Alright then. Alright, I'll go ahead and make that roll here. Okay. That is one degree of success. I was hoping for two. Would we not? Can we allow the uh, the actual shuttlecraft to assist? Ah, uh, yes. The shuttle yeah. can assist with computers plus engineering. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh, shuttle does assist. Cool. Uh, you get the. So you are able to transmit whatever is left, or you're able to copy whatever is left on the computer back to the shuttlecraft, where it is in, where it is stored in non-volatile memory and is currently not deleting itself. Um, there is a small humming, as the steam no longer is rising from Soong's ear. Melania just looks with a bit of a bemused grin. She looks at the pair of you. The last time I have seen um, any woman get him so riled up, he w he had s predicted the odds wrong on a on a Jamblot racing scheme. She smirks. <sighs> Anyways, Soong storms back in out of the lab. Right, I can determine that you've got what you need. Leave. You are no longer welcome on my premises. And you can tell dire your director or your captain or whoever the hell sent you here that I will be calling for that favor. And if he says no... Believe me, we get the message. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your help. Out! <laughs> Alright. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, leisurely walk outside the door, looking back at him, smiling, and then leaving, close shutting the door. You hear something um, fragile smash against the floor as you do so. Alright. Well, I'd like to, um, even though we dealt with Soong, I'd like to uh, still see if we could uh, go to the actual explosion site. Just Loxley is at, while the rest of the uh, team correlates the, or the information with the shuttle. Okay, uh, let's do a shuttle test. So who? Is, so I believe we currently have uh, Jackson, Togi, Wooler, Noel, and Hanara back at the shuttle. 
so if you guys want, to, if someone wants to start pawing through the data, uh, not the most science or engineering focused team, but one of you might have the skills. Uh, this is going to be an insight plus, let's roll insight plus engineering. And I, two people could, or one person can do the main role, one person can assist, or the shuttle can assist with computers plus engineering. And you said, it's, like, pattern recognition? Yeah, pattern recognition, uh, data, or data analysis, that sort of stuff. Um, Hanara is an 8 and a 3 with its activation. Probably the better option. So I guess Hanaro will lead it. I was gonna make. Or does anybody else have, have better on the other characters there? <clears throat> Doesn't sound like it. Have a roll. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And who's, and who's assisting? And we'll use one momentum for a third dice. Sure. That's the two successes you need. Uh, who is assisting? Jackson will assist. All right. Small craft operations, considering it's the uh, shuttlecraft computer that we're trying to collate data on. Mm. No. Or is that a stretch? That's nah. a stretch. <laughs> uh, well, that's one momentum either way. So cool. <clears throat> so you're a. Uh, so thankfully, part of the data that was not scrubbed yet, uh, I guess he was saving it for last, possibly for blackmail purposes, was a series of sensor logs from the uh, from the occurrence so it's there is the explosion there is then I believe it was five five non Orion life signs making their way to the top floor you then see four other life signs heading up in shortly thereafter eventually the life signs are all forced onto a ship the ship flies approximately 200 or ah, the ship flies approximately that's uh, approximately five mi five miles or eight kilometers south and then you detect a transporter sign or several transporter signatures and then the sh the ship they were all herded onto returns back to the hotel and to assist with, and will assist with post, post terroristic activities, or cleanup. All right. Well, I wanted to go to the explosion site to see if we could uh, pick up any additional trail of uh, of biomatter, or if there is any, you know. Uh, Kind of just like an invisible warning beacon that the uh, away team might have left. Okay. Maybe through their tricorders or maybe dropping, you know, a specific isotope or things like that. And, uh, yeah, I just want to see if there's anything else that we could uh, latch on to to get some identification on. Okay, we know either who was, who was here and, uh, you know, if they were to leave, how, how, how could we identify them? Okay. Uh, in the... Friend or foe. Right. Uh, in the nature of time, I won't play the scene out, but suffice it to say, uh, you make your way up to the top floor. You are stopped by uh, Orion security officials. They are... N whether or not you're able to get by them doesn't particularly matter. You're not able to find any further intelligence information. All right, then. Yep. Well, we got what we... We got as much as we get. We we are available to, I suppose. Mm -hmm. so. And now we're going to cut back to the brig. So you have just knocked on the door. 
the door opens to to and you see one of the ah blah, 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 blah. you can tell it's getting slightly late because I'm starting to pause in my speaking. <clears throat> hmm. uh, the door opens up and you find one of the masked individuals. He does not have his uh, he does not have his pistol drawn. Suffice it to say, he is quite surprised. Uh, if you could please roll me a daring security test, Mr. Helsing. Throat punch. Yes, indeed. And I say that when I strike. That's kind of actually in character for you. And give you a momentum yes. or a momentum for another. Seems to be standard pattern. You will need three successes. That's only two. That is not enough for you to succeed. And he... Um, let me see. You I'm could... gonna. Sorry. Pop my determination. I'm gonna pop my determination. Okay. So roll that one. Go for it. And we need a re-roll button on this just for instead of having to go back through everything. Mm -hmm. There is a way to sort of cheat and just hit the up arrow. But that sort of redoes the whole macro, and you kind of have to know where to change the values, which is oh, not got it. easy to do. And I'm going to do my veteran. Okay, yep. Yeah. And there's got your it back. You get it back. Nice. Uh, roll me some challenge dice, please. Okay, six. Okay. So that um, use one of those momentum to re-roll the zeros. Sure thing. So that's a grand total of five plus two effects. And with that's two vicious. Okay. So seven eight. That sounds about. Uh, no, that was counting the two of. Ah, uh, bah. So four. Five, vicious of two, six, seven. Yep, I'm counting seven. Well, that's still enough. You. Okay. Yeah, throat punch the guy or girl. It's hard to tell under the uh, envir or under the suits. Uh, let me just get the individuals up here. Okay. And let me get token. So we are going to move ourselves here. Get the tokens in the right place. Um, syndicate Brig. Nope. Bring the wounded Bashir along for the ride. And are all those guards in the hallway? They are, yes, but they're not, thankfully they're not all in the same zone. So... Okay, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm just busy moving folks around. So, and you have thankfully already disabled one of them before combat can even start. Okay. So, once again, we're doing combat. Unless you want to try to do this peacefully, but... Um, well, grab dude's disruptor as he goes down. And big doors are always better than smaller doors. Mm -hmm. So is it two big doors and a passageway down at the end of the hall, or? Yeah. So uh, the brig. Lined up. Yeah. So the one that. So there are definitely two sizable ones. That you haven't actually left this area, so you're not sure what's beyond them yet. Is anything back the other way? Uh, no, solid wall. Okay, so we gotta go. We gotta run through everybody. Great. Of course. And that guy I'm pinging, he's there. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's on the other side of the door. Of our door. Yes. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so I guess minor action. I'll toss Deja the disruptor. Okay. 
in my real action, I'll do a hand to hand against um, the guard at the door. Two at the far end of the hall. And I'll engage this dude. Have at it. You need to beat one success. Oh, so you need two successes to connect. Um, I'll pop my determination. Ooh, Again, being, I don't being like. Very determined. Well, I'm hoping I've, I've been crapping out on veteran a long time. So. <laughs> yeah, that's you know if you got it, flaunt it. And there's the three successes, so you get one more. Uh, you get two momentum out of the deal. Five total. All right. You roll that challenge die real quick. See if I get it back. Mm -hmm. You do. Wow. Back. Wow. Okay, so that was so three, so f with five, we got how many determination out of that? Uh, momentum. Uh, you get two oh, momentum. momentum. Yep. I think okay. that just got counted. Yeah. So that'd be nine total. Okay. Uh, instinct kicks in, and you, uh, despite the bot, uh, you smash right through the or you smash right through the faceplate which must have been defective or a stunt prop either or and just hammer the poor Orion guard's face and she goes down immediately aww now I feel bad well to be fair she would have shot you without hesitation so that's true yep but in the meantime, the other ones. It's one of quick their action. Oh, ah, oh, yes, you. I thought quick action only worked at the start of the turn. Oh, uh, okay. I think it works. First round of any combat. May ignore the cost to retain the initiative. Oh, yeah. So it's mind. probably at the start of the next one. Ah, uh, no, never mind. So, nope, you are retaining the initiative, which means. Okay. Yeah. So first round of combat. That means two good guys get to go. So, who Excellent. wants to go next? I want to stabby yeah. stabby. Uh, there's no one to Judy, stabby Judy. stabby. Oh, that's all right. Well, I'm never going to get to use this sword. You try to stab with a disruptor, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> one day. One but day. I'll, I'll, I'll chew. Okay, control security, difficulty two. Oh, look, something I finally actually have a focus in. Hand phasers. Nice. <laughs> oh, look, nothing. Yeah, that's uh, no successes at all. Your sh so it's either a... So if... A, ah, when you write down your mission report, you do state at this point that you have picked up a faulty weapon. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. It's completely the weapon's alignment has failed. So... Well, the guard that we just took out, did they have a disruptor hanging on as well? They did, yes. Okay. So, so anybody else back there, is it a full action or a minor action to pick one up? Uh, minor. Okay. So, yeah. so anybody back there, they could do They could. However, it is now one of their turns. So let's do this enforcer is going to attempt to shoot Mr. Helsing cuz Mr. Helsing just want just went neo on his or hers friends. That's only one success. That is not going to hit. So, that's their turn. Uh Vaid or Thashran. So, pistol on the ground. Uh, I can go, but am I at a penalty for attacking if I'm injured? So you can only take one action. So you can pick up the gun, but that's it. Okay. okay. Then I'll go ahead. Yeah, maybe you should do it then. 
and yeah. Bashir drops to the ground. Mm. Clunk. That's Flight down the wall. <laughs> I mean, at this stage, I'm going to just mental or head cannon that he's just been laid on the floor in preparation for a. Hey, we've been we, we, we've been carrying him the whole season. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's slow, man. Oh, oh come on. Uh, everybody, I mean, was, everybody knew it was going to be coming. I sometime. know, I know. Anyways, uh, so control security, please, Miss Fayed. That's the two you need. Nice. There we go. Uh, so please roll me challenge dice. A disruptor pistol deals two. two plus your security score. And it's got like vicious two, I think. Yeah. For vicious one. Okay, so it's four because my security's two. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, so, disruptor pistol. Oh, sorry. Three plus uh, vicious one. So, uh, mm -hmm. so roll me one more challenge dice, please. Okay, so that is currently uh, four. four damage. You could spend a momentum to reroll those zeros. Y'all all right with that? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he literally screams as his body is vaporized. <clears throat> I don't hear any praise from you, Commander. You'll get over it. Good job. I'm, I'm, my, my mouth's a, 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 a gape. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Doing well. Yeah. Nice shot there, Vaid. Okay. And finally, it's the other Enforcer's turn. And the other Enforcer is going to throw, or going to... shoot at Mr. Helsing and once again miss because he's panicked. But that's his turn. So we are now at the I believe we have uh, Mr. Thishran. Um, Not much you can do with one action unless you can get creative. Uh, uh, what can I do with one action? I can't even go and punch him. No, you can't. Uh, maybe I'll just do the prudent thing and just take cover. <laughs> okay. Okay. Top of the order. Now we'll use quick to action. Uh, you you already used it when you gave uh, Deja her. Oh, okay. I thought, yeah. yeah, okay. There Sorry, I, I was misreading them. I was misreading the talent. It works in your first okay. round of combat okay. only. Not. Oh. No. oh, no. I think, okay. anyways. Um, I will have to double check that, but... Yeah, I'll look at it, too. In the spirit of things, uh, Enforcer gets to go, and once again is going to try to shoot Mr. Helsing. Because, actually, he's going to aim first, because I forgot he can do that. And then fire. Ooh, ah, let's see. That might hit uh, if I can roll that. We roll that one d twenty. Nope. Even aiming, he still sucks. So, which one of you wishes the uh, to shoot, punch, stab, intimidate? You know, overwhelm well, somehow. It's... Yeah, it's going to be pretty much everything to the only one there. So I'll run up, I'll close. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to take him alive. Okay, so you're going to lose non-lethal force. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So first thing I'll do is I'll say, yield. And if he doesn't, then I will do the attack. Okay. Um, roll me a presence plus command test please persuasion work uh, if you had intimidation i think that would work better uh you yeah, need two successes <clears throat> evil helping has yeah 
You're not evil Helsing. Yeah. I mean, you're getting there with each passing session, it seems. Yeah, that's two successes. Cool. Um, the enforcer drops uh, his ah. The enforcer drops his gun and raises his hands. All right, I'll put him up against the wall. Someone grab the gun quick, and I'll. Two questions. The way out, and where is all our equipment stored? Uh, he points. Way out is this is that way. Take. You, you'll you'll want docking bay three. Your equipment's in the locker out back here. And two questions, but each question had two subparts. Subpart one for question one on the way out. Are there any vehicles in there to get us out? Yes. Second subpart to that same main question. Any other enforcers in there? Yes. There are two of them. Thank you. I didn't want to have to go to a sub sub part where our stuff is stored. Same sub part, same questions. Nope. Nope. Keys. Any guards in there? No, just use the key. It'll work. It'll work. All right. Thank you. Now take off your armor. He obliges and you realize that he is wearing nothing but a loincloth underneath. Thank you for wearing the loincloth. I'm glad propriety is still exists here on Orion. And I open our cell, cell door and throw him in. <clears throat> and in he goes. All right. Can we get anybody into the armor? Of the, what, we got three people out here? So we got three sets of armor? Yeah. Uh, there are... Oh, technically there's four. One has a shattered it, faceplate. How it How will, long would it take to put it? Um, tell you what, roll me a fitness plus security, and however many successes will be however fast it takes. Can we create the advantage instead? Sure. If you wish to spend the two momentum to create the advantage, I'll say it just takes uh, probably about three minutes. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to be out here too long. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Once again, you're at zero momentum. Place we're well familiar with. And let's go check out that that locker. I think everybody should have a pistol now. Everybody does Bashir. have a disruptor pistol. Um, the Shran can. Well, the no, there are four guards, so the Shran could pick up one of the one of their pistols. Then. Mm -hmm. And we'll go to the storage area. Okay. Let's... I, I want to get that computer disk. Of course. My knife I'm not too attached to, but I need that computer disk. Makes sense. Makes sense. You have a mission after all. Okay. Uh, you leave the facility. Uh, you leave the brig and enter a new hallway. This hallway. I thought he said it was on the other side of the door. That little guy lied to me. Well, there's only uh, technically beyond this. There at T ah at T junctions. Uh, there is a series of uh, there is a series of lockers just to the right, and d down the left through a narrow passageway there is a singular, if somewhat ornate, looking door. And thought you sent me. Do you think that um, Orion Crime Princess is behind this door? When you say ornate door, is it all fancy fied out? Like it's somebody living there? It does appear to have been decorated, yes. Uh, filigree in gold and silver. All right. We need that disc. 
You guys ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm eager to get out of here one way or the other. Same. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's go for it. Okay. So you're just you're going to the ho- uh, you're going to the lockers. Yes, the okay. lockers to get our equipment. One uh, suit up montage later, you find your ah, uh, you da, da, da. you open up the lockers, and you're able to pull out all of your equipment, uh, with the exclusion of the detonator, and the computer chip. Damn it! All right. How much room is behind the ornate doors? Well, we're out of money. I'll put t- down that money once we get our uh, our quadloons back. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. All right, Deja, with me, we'll go in and pop anybody who presents a threat. Okay. Um, the armor we have, is it like Resistance 2 armor? Yes, it is Resistance okay. 2. <clears throat> So, what happens? So. And then we'll do the quick open. If it looks overwhelming, we'll back out and shoot whatever locking mechanism on the door. Okay. And then run. This is what you see. Uh, Inside the office, uh, it's it's a long, narrow observation panel or observation bay with a single desk at the far end that's overlooking a vista of an underwater scene. Uh, Colorful corals, uh, bioluminescent fish, predators all seem to swim by, completely not caring that they're being watched from inside. Uh, Several plants and decorations line the walls. There are four uh, more, uh, there are four more enforcers, and sitting at the desk in a comp- in a Dr. Claw style fashion uh, lies or sits Isabir. Isabir? Yes. Um, upon entering, you do notice that the guards take a readied stance, but their weapons are currently not drawn. Uh, Isabir just. Uh, takes a single finger and makes a come here gesture. Don't worry. They're not going... They have orders to kill you only if you attack first. Not a problem. Um, Cover them. I'll walk forward since I guess I'm immune for... Is it... I'm still immune? Maybe? Hopefully? Mm. What I know. Well, you're in a suit now anyways. Does it matter? Uh, That's true. Hmm. She has a data pad in front of her. Hmm. So, which one? Let me guess. You're human. You're male. You must be Mr. Helsing. Yes, ma'am. I told you we weren't after you. No, but in all honesty, it doesn't matter. What's done is done, and we have to move forward. And right now, as you have currently taken down almost... Well, you've currently taken out my two enforcers. And my... She looks around. The chaff. You see all the enforcers sort of just... Slump ever so slightly at being referred to as chaff. So, I'm here to make... As one does, I would like to make a deal. See... I know that you are Mr. Helsing. I know that the one we have roughed up rather severely is Commander Bashir. Thishrin Zalder, however you pronounce his last name. Exactly. Yeah, Helsing, Williams. She slides a, a pad over to you. Well, if you pick it up and it appears to be your Starfleet data files. Would you be interested to know how I got this information? Your Starfleet intelligence isn't as... I mean, the entire galaxy learned that of this Section 31 thing about 30 years ago. 
Starfleet Intelligence cleaned itself up. But let's face it, she smiles. You're not infallible. And someone oh. happens to not like you at the moment. I can certainly we... tell you that information. All you have well, to thank do. you very much. So, here's the deal. You leave. There's a sub shuttle in Docking Bay 3. And once you hit the or once you hit the uh, 300 foot depth mark, this facility will transmit the information you need. And after that, I hope never to see you again. Well, I hope as well, because as I said, you were not the target. No, but... But, there's always a little bit of trust in what's to stop something from happening to that shuttle on the way to the surface. You're Starfleet. You're smart enough to figure it out. Yeah, but we've had kind of a rough couple days. She uh, she laughs, and it sort of it's one of the most melodious sounds you've heard in the last twenty four hours. It's a pretty laugh. Well, she stare. Uh, she pulls up your uh, She projects your uh, face from you. Ah, blah, blah, blah. She projects your data file to one of the large presentation screen. Oh, you do have a pretty face. But it's not one I care to see again. I've made my terms clear. You wouldn't care to join us? No. I'm quite you happy. You know we here. would release you. I know. But quite frankly, you've made a big enough mess down here, and your mirror universe self has made a big enough mess up there. I have a lot of cleaning up to do, and I can do now, that best from down here. Now, would you have any more information on the mirror universe since you've had dealings over on that side? I've had plenty, but you'll... I've had plenty. And she pulls out the small computer chip and flicks it to you as if one would flick a quarter. Thank you very much. Let's just say I've had more detail... I've had a substantial amount of capital lost in this venture. I don't think the Tholians are going to be as interested in working with us again. So whatever data you have on that chip is about as much as you're going to get. Because as far as I'm concerned, everything over there is burned. So the Tholian wasn't a rogue? No. Silly. He was working for me. You... Well, I mean, rogue, rogue Tholian. We thought he was a break off from the Tholian hegemony, hierarchy, oh, ascendancy. ascendancy. Oh, you know so little about you, Starfleet. Know so little about their organization. I'll let yeah. you in. On, I'll let you in on a small secret. This, the Tholian ascendancy is over there. Is part of the same political body as the Tholian ascendancy over here. They can just get away with a whole lot more over there. Over here, and Starfleet's watching them with the career. Okay. Thank you very much. And I do hope that the last thing we hear is that information surge. Because mm. I will promise that you won't see my face again. We've got yourself a deal. Enforcers or chaff, see them out. Make sure they don't break anything else out on their way out, please. And the four, the four of them, uh, with their disruptor rifles, because you gave me just enough threat that I can spend that escalation cost. Politely escort the pair of you back out. All right. As you leave, the last thing you see is uh, Isabir putting on her own environmental suit just in case. That's the wrong map. <laughs> we are going back to... You are led through the brig 
and emerge at docking bay 3, where half the tokens didn't materialize on the map based on how I pasted them. Oh, well. She kidnapped them. Yes, yes, she did. There is a, true to her word, there is a submersible sh uh, shuttlecraft. It appears to be in fine working order. Shran and Vayed. And poor Bashir. Being dragged. And I'll look at one of the enforcers. Now, do one of you all want to go with us so you can return the craft when we're done with it? There's a quick uh, inter or there's a quick private conversation. One of them steps forward. Thank you very much. You won't need your you won't need your weapon. As a show of as a show of good faith, he or perhaps he was or perhaps it was communicated to him in a on a private frequency. He passes his disruptor rifle off to one of the other enforcers. He keeps his pistol, though. Uh, Bashir looks out the window groggily and says, are we going swimming? Yeah, new ice taco stand. <gasps> I love ice tacos! I've heard. Make it so, number one. Aye, uh, sir. Um, and as we walk to get into the sub, I'll ask the enforcer, now, this sub's not going to explode or anything, is it? Uh, I hope not. Yep, so do I. Um, and then, I guess, between as we get in for Shran, anybody else, give, we'll start giving this thing a quick look if there's anything to, that could possibly cause this thing to blow up. All right. Insight security or insight um, engineering, please. Man, this okay. whole thing in Orion has been insight. This is killing me. Well, reason actually might be a half decent one too. Hmm. No, I think insight in this instance. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reasonable. Uh, for Shane, uh, you want to take the lead? Uh, yeah. Uh, does hazard awareness count? Hazard awareness will count in this instance. Okay. What's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty is two, and someone can assist. Anybody else got good inside engineering or security? Uh, I'll give you a threat to uh, add a die. Uh, out of curiosity, <laughs> Mr. Helsing, why is your presence a zero? I'm just looking back at your uh, previous role, and it says your presence is a zero. Huh, it's showing on the sheet of the nine. Is it by chance showing zero nine or just nine? Just nine. Huh. That's interesting. Anyways, that's another role that was kind of weird like that, too. Huh. Oh, goody. Uh, I hope something's not broken. Otherwise, we would have to pay more attention to the roles. Um, yeah. Anyways. Closer to yeah. So that is... So you, uh, bah, bah, bah. Uh, you get one momentum out of the deal, and you find no sabotage devices. Uh, electronic communication stuff, or what you, or anything out of the ordinary, Thashran. I'm feeling a little bit better. I yeah. look over at the enforcer, but you're feeling a little bit better too. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Um, anybody have small craft? No. <laughs> All right. Um, what would be, I have a con of three? What would it be a control con to fly out? Uh, yes, control plus con. I just don't have a focus. Anybody be at a 12 3? Negative. I look at Mr. Enforcer. Can you fly this thing? Nope, not part of my training. Then how are you going to bring it back? <laughs> Autopilot. Oh, you guys are fancy. Autopilot doesn't take it out, does it? No, sir. Only ret only a return home. All right. And I'll use that last momentum. 
for a third die. All right. Um, I will roll for the shuttle to assist. Which is good. That's the two successes you need to get out. Phew. All right. Okay, so the shuttle or the sub shuttle departs, lowers itself into the depths, and comes on out. And will we hit the 300 meter mark? Well, it's a you might not get there because as you do so, two more shuttles, sub shuttles. Uh, swoop in from behind the reef. <clears throat> and they're locking torpedoes on you. Oh, ease of beer. You're currently at 450 feet uh, below below sea level. And um, because good guys always get to go get to roll first, uh, daring plus con. Uh, di- right. This will be a difficulty of two. Does this thing have it, weapons on it? has weapons, yes. I'm going to need... Uh, it, it has... Uh, it, has tor- uh, blah, blah. it has torpedo launchers. Like no. literal torpedoes, like not photon torpedoes, like uh, actual. Old school. Yep. Old I'm school. Gonna, I'm going to give you a threat. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, damn it. And I don't have shipboard tactical systems. Yep, that'll fly. Or would it swim? Eh, either or. No. It does um, not. I'm going to use my determination. Okay, we've had a good run so those far. Heroes. Sure. It was daring con. And see, some daring was a twelve, but it's a ten. Really? What the heck is going on here? Huh. Um, that is weird. Hang on, what the heck is? Wait, it's it looks like it's rolling right on my side. That devil's going on here. Um, sorry. Um, daring twelve. Yeah, those di- those dice look ro- that, that those dice rolls do look right. Uh, can you try re-roll? Uh, re-rolling the, those two zeros. Yeah, let's see what happens because my yeah. daring is a ten. That's what's odd. Oh, it oh, it is a ten, not a twelve. Yeah. What? The... Well, those. Yeah, a six and a seven would still yeah, be good. Yeah, it'd still be fine. Could you do me a favor and hit the up arrow just, and then copy and paste and just paste the result into Discord for yeah. me? What's the up arrow? So, in just <laughs> the up arrow on your keyboard. That should re, uh, t- call up the text of the macro within the Discord uh, Got it. typing it. screen. And then just paste that into Discord for me, please, to have a look at later. You Mr. Chaps to say, what's up, Arrow? Uh, and just for that. Um, okay, so you are no. able to... Congr- uh, so they... Ah, so with a hard jerk of the steering column, you're able to send the submarine straight upwards, avoiding the first barrel of torpedoes. As you reach the 300... Uh, let's see. At the four hundred, at the three hundred seventy-five mark, uh, they will attempt to catch up with you. Uh, the first one will not. The second one will. So this one falls behind. Actually, let's do this vertically. So you are here. They're catching up. This one is failing. <clears throat> So it catches up and is within torpedo range and is going to attempt to do so. That is not going to hit as the as a torpedo sends a stream of bubbles past the starboard bow. Or, sorry, sta- past the starboard side of the ship. Uh, one more daring plus con, please. Or, con- <laughs> uh, or control plus con, whichever you wish. Oh, thank God, that's a twelve. 
I wonder if that's what it's doing. Hmm. I give you a throw for a third die. Yes, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, that doesn't. Nope, it's got it mixed up. Oh goody! My controls are twelve. Oh goody! Okay, so let's look at these. Well, that's critical, obviously. Uh, yeah, you're... the the zero would have missed. Would have been a four. He, no, zero would have hit. Yeah, 14 would have hit. The 13 obviously hits. So that's both annoying and interesting, but that is two degrees of success, so you get two momentum out of the deal. Your sub shoots past the 300 degree, or the 300 meter, 300 foot mark, and just as promised, it there's a small ping as you as you receive a encrypted data packet. However, you have. Uh, nope, they need to see if they can catch up. Oh, so the first one suffers engine trouble and just falls back and has no chance of catching up again. And the other one is able to ma maintain course and speed and is going to attempt to shoot at you one more time. And once again, this one sails off to your port side. It's around, as you uh, breach past the 250 foot mark, you receive a communication. It is from Mr. Jefferson, who is currently circling the area on board the, the USS Wraith. Jefferson. Sir, do you require assistance? Yeah, take care of um, some merciful directly behind us. Hi, right, sir. So if uh, someone could please take Mr. Jefferson and the... Uh, nah. And, the, oh, sorry, it's the Spectre, not the Wraith. Uh, can someone take the USS Spectre and Mr. Jefferson and roll me okay. a control plus security test? And the ship can assist with... Uh, with weapons plus security okay i got the ship i got jefferson up all right that's one from the specter and that's the two successes you need a punishing barrage of phaser fire parts the sea or splats into the sea and there is just enough energy dispersion to impact the shuttle following behind you. Uh, just for fun, could someone please roll me damage for the phasers? So, uh, the phaser cannons at mm -hmm. six dice? Yes, please. Well, that's not very good. <laughs> we have momentum? You do. All right, we'll burn one momentum to reroll four. Okay. That's a pretty good trade, really. All right. That is uh, six degrees of success plus the... Yeah. Uh, Mr. Helsing, you jank hard to port as a series of phaser cannon fire punch through the sea with the force of missiles. Uh, there is an explosion behind you as the... Uh, of oxygen and... Um, engine that have fuel and oxygen as the ship giving pursuit falls to pieces. You breach the surface and you have seen you now have seen the sun for the first time. It is rather bright. Jefferson is circling around in the USS Wraith and the Type XX shuttle is holding is holding distance just in case you needed further fire support. All right. Um Chan, disable the weapons on this. Um I'm assuming there'll be like a lifeboat or something on board. There's a not really. 
There's a couple no, dive suits, okay. but that's about it. All right, never mind. Don't disable the weapons. I was thinking we just get it back to him, get rid of it in case it blows up. I'm paranoid. <laughs> Um, Helsing, did any Nighthawk personnel? <laughs> this is Sangrel here. Hey, sir, we got the whole team ready to beam up whenever you have a chance. I'm very glad to hear that, Commander. Permission to go board. All right, I'll send out the position. Easy enough. Okay, so you all materialize. And the transporter room. These are not you. Those are your past selves. We don't need another temporal incident. <laughs> All of you materialize as soon as I get your tokens back. Uh, seeing the state of a couple of you, Zot immediately calls for uh, sick bay to the bridge or sick bay to transporter room two. Why are you doing this? Why must you be like this, Tokens? Nope. You here. This here. People here. And down comes the captain. Because it's been several hours since you've actually seen any of your people. So, Captain, what you find is Bashir has been beaten red and blue. Uh, Cap or Commander Liam Helsing's job looks like it might need some time in uh, dental surgery. The others aren't faring too bad. Wow. When they say deep cover assignments, I didn't expect deep cuts to go with them. You guys feeling all right? <laughs> Been better. Uh, you look better. <laughs> but didn't go as according to plan. We'll fill you in. But we did get the, the Tholians dead. But we did. We were able to download everything off of his computer. As well as get information from a uh, Tholian criminal syndicate mastermind named Isabir who talks of a breach within Starfleet Intelligence. She had all our data files. Well, I suppose I'll be thankful for small favors that all of you came back alive. And that I'm most grateful for. But uh, the idea of there being a mole in Star NSI is much more... Uh, I don't want to say much more uncomfortable, but I can you can understand why that fills me with some worry. You came back oh, yes, sir. But, with your data, but with your data files. I mean... I'm all for uninvited guests, but uh, I want to make sure that they're not myself. Or in this case, yourselves. Which brings across the other thing about ourselves being ourselves, being their selves. Mirror me was involved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume that since your jaws are misaligned, maybe uh, you probably meant to slur out something else <laughs> other than the fact that uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't hear you right off clearly. You know, you're just saying that mirror you is involved. You're talking about alternate reality, Mr. Helsing. I uh, sort of the one that beat Commander Thrashand to a pulp and was with Commander Bashir attacking you. Okay. So again, that we're one. not we're not talking about uh, that nonsensical holiday adventure that we totally did not go back to. We're not talking about those characters. <laughs> oh no, this guy was was real. <laughs> He's well, the one who was... had that entire top floor wired to blow. <laughs> then we have a bigger problem on our hands than just a mole. Honestly. No. Well, and he works for a director, Sengral. 
who by all accounts is a sheer terror. Well, I suppose it's nice to know if there's anything in this multiverse that I am, it's consistent. <laughs> That'll be yeah. all, Commander. Oh. He smiled. I, I smile, but in in you, you your empathy, you, you definitely get a sense of guilt coming off of Helsing. Well, in that case, I'll go ahead and uh, put my hand on your shoulder. Man, roadblocks are going to happen. Things don't necessarily always go the way we expect them to. But if there's anything that I've learned over the years, that there's definitely hope, there's interesting things to be found in unexpected places. And if there's any place that you're going to get that, it's most definitely the Nighthawk. You'll get yourself fixed. We'll deal with this one thing, one thing at a time. Roger. Now, he did have a way to know... He knew we were there. He was able to read my genetic and quantum signature as soon as we made Planetfall. He kind of not really set a trap, but he orchestrated it where we were alone. And he kind of told me some of this information face to face. And he disappeared. Oh, sir. Did this confrontation happen before or happen the last time you you radioed the night? And to be honest, I don't remember. Um, GM timeline, I believe it happened bef- after. Okay. <clears throat> it was it was after. It was when uh, Commander Shran and I went to go gather holographic equipment to set up a mariachi band. I mean, uh, um, a holographic fire. Lieutenant Vade, are you injured? Badly yeah. injured, that is. No, sir. I, I think I'm fine, actually. I'm lucky. <laughs> then I'd like Definitely. you to be in the science lab immediately. Yes, sir. So the entire crew did outstanding. Uh, Vade Williams and Thrashran were above and beyond the call of duty and from what i understand commander Bashir even took one for the team beyond getting beat up by the orions well he was kind of beat up by another orion but it's a long story you don't need to tell me how good you people are mr helsing that's why didn't you're say on me. The didn't say me sir i said them no. oh yeah how good you people are I mean, you've seen better days, but hey, I have a feeling that you're just prolonging this conversation because you don't want to get to sick by. Don't make me make it an order. Oh, yeah. Master, you know, help the Shran walk on out. Oh yeah, I forgot that the Shran had a had his arm in a sling, so he goes too. So apparently, the only one uninjured for this was Deja and Vaid. Yep. Okay. Does anybody else have any scenes they'd like to do before we wrap the session? I'd like to... Uh, I understand we haven't revisited this in a while, mm-hmm. but um, I'd like to... I'm curious about the status of uh, my uh, my pseudogenetic uh, brain, in, brain implant that oh. I wanted to figure it out. Ah, uh, said... yes. Uh, yes. Well, thanks to some... Or thanks to the data that you have gained from your time in the Vitars space, uh, Coox believes that he could have a working prototype. Um, he is still concerned about, you know, things like ethics and morals, but he shrugs. If we were considered, if those things were held so dear to us, we wouldn't really be an intelligence, would we? All right. Well, the last thing that I'd like to do is that I'd like to uh, go ahead and calm Station Zero again, telling Chalmers that we found our people. But I'd also like to rearrange for the reacquisition of a, of a prisoner that we took. Oh, I forget the species name. Or oh, the the Akashi? Name. The Akashi. I want him back. He's... The man wants to hunt, let him hunt. 
I got plans now. He snorts. Hmm. He, now that we, we've explained the situation to him, he seems amenable, so long as we keep him well-fed and can show him a challenging hunt. If you think you can provide him that, send me the information and I will get you... Th- and I will rearrange, or and I will arrange for the prisoner to be brought, to be retransferred to your ship. Well, I appreciate that, director. Out. Have not. And he cuts the communication, not really caring if you have anything else to ask. <laughs> well, that's it. All right. Well, that brings the session to a close. Uh, Good job escaping. I was actually expecting this to be a little more close to lethal, but, you know, I downed a PC, so that's a a thing. Yay me. Anyways, uh, thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. And uh, just to keep people on the up and up, I'm currently planning on running this until until July. Then we're going to take a summer break, and we will probably probably be back in one form or another come august or maybe september probably september yes september so we have another three episodes or so and we will see where we go from here so thanks for playing guys thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys next time bye bye